I was convicted of a felony. I served my time and completed my probation, but I am still making payments for fines and restitution. Can I vote? Yes, you are eligible to vote. Under Washington state law, when you've been convicted of a felony, but have served your sentence and any required DOC supervision, your voting rights are automatically restored. You do not need a certificate of discharge to vote. You do, however, need to re-register, which you can do online at the Secretary of State website, by mail, or in person at a number of locations, including many public offices like libraries, the DMV, or DSHS. I still owe court fines, restitution, or other legal financial obligations, also known as LFOs. Can I still vote? Yes, you do not need to pay off your LFOs to vote. While you are still legally obligated to pay your court fines and to comply with any payment schedule you may have, your right to vote is not automatically lost for failure to pay any legal financial obligations. If you do receive notice, however, that a court or prosecutor intends to revoke your right to vote due to failure to pay your LFOs, please contact the ACLU. Because I was convicted of a juvenile offense and a few misdemeanors, I always thought I could not vote. Is that true? No. If you were convicted of a juvenile offense or a misdemeanor, you are still eligible to vote. You do have to register, though, if you haven't already, which you can do online at the website of the Secretary of State, via mail or in person at a number of locations, including many public offices like the DMV, DSHS, and public libraries. Right now, I am homeless, but I would really like to vote. Is that possible? Yes, absolutely. You are still eligible to vote. When you register, you'll need to list two things. The first is your residence address. This address can be the address of a shelter, a friend or a relative's home, or even a street intersection, wherever you define as home. Second, you'll need to provide a valid mailing address where ballots and other election materials will be sent. This too can be the address of a shelter, a friend's home, or even local delivery at the post office. You can find out more about these types of issues at the ACLU website or through your local auditor or the Secretary of State. I don't have a driver's license or other form of ID. Can I still register to vote? Yes, absolutely. You do not need an ID to register to vote. Before you cast your ballot, however, you'll need to provide one of the following items. A valid photo ID, if you get one in between registration and voting. A valid tribal ID. A copy of a current utility bill, current bank statement, or current paycheck. Or some other government document that shows both your name and your address. I have some friends who were convicted in other states, and I was convicted of a federal crime. What do we need to do to restore our rights to vote? Nothing. Your right to vote was automatically restored for a federal or out-of-state felony conviction once you were no longer in prison. You do have to re-register, though. You can do that online at the website of the Secretary of State's office, via mail, or at a number of public offices like libraries, the DMV, or DSHS. I was convicted of a felony in Washington. I served my time, but I still have to report to a community corrections officer. Can I register to vote? Your right to vote is restored when you are done with any DOC-required community custody. The best way to know for certain if you have completed community custody is to check with the DOC or the supervisor of your community corrections officer, or CCO. The ACLU has a pamphlet and information on our website, and you can also call our intake line for more information about how to confirm your eligibility to vote.